Good morning, yoga warriors. This is Charlie with Warrior Yoga. Thank you for joining me again in my shed during this time. Let's take an hour to ourselves to bring some peace and calm to our bodies and our minds. We're going to be doing a little bit of a more dynamic um, yoga practice today. And basically what that means is there's going to be a few more balance and like challenging poses in this particular practice today. Um, you can still do this practice as a beginner, absolutely. Um, and even if you don't think that you can physically do these poses, give them a try. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. You can always do something else that works better for your body or check one of the other videos. So uh, that being said, uh, we will begin focusing on the breath to bring calm and clarity to our bodies and minds during this time. So if you have your mat prepared, you may have a yoga blanket on that mat. Let's go ahead and get settled on our backs. Take a couple of breaths here. to steady yourself on your back. If you feel a little tightness in your low back, you can bring your knees up, give them a little bit of a wiggle, and then drop them back down. You can have your knees bent or straight. It's up to you during this time. And then your shoulders, make sure they're down and away from the ears. You can rock back and forth, walk the shoulder blades together a little bit there. Once you get yourself nice and comfortably adjusted, you can have your hands down, or maybe you like to feel the breath in your body. Whatever that looks like to you. And slowly begin extending the breath on the exhale. Nice deep breath in. Exhale slow. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, slow. Inhale. Exhale, slow. So the exhale breath is just a little longer than the inhale breath. This stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system and helps us uh, fight against the fight and flight response, bringing calm and stress to our bodies. De-stress, not stress. Inhale. Let's do a couple more nice slow deep breaths here. Exhale slow. Nice deep slow breath in. Exhale again. On the next inhale breath, bring the knees up. Reach around, grab the knees, or you can use a strap across your knees like this. It's up to you. And then the inhale breath, extend the arms, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, squeeze. Massaging the low back on the ground and moving the knees back and forth with the breath. Two more. Last one, nice deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze. 
wiggle that low back a little bit. Hold that knees to chest. Exhale, release the knees and drop the knees down. So the heels are right under the hips. Having the um, feet about hip width apart, you can adjust those if you need to. And then take a nice deep breath in. Raise the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, push them toward the ceiling. And then slowly raise those hands overhead. Couple of breaths here. Exhale, release the fingers, bring the arms down, cactus arms to the side. With the knees up to center, go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, drop the knees down and to the right. Inhale up. Exhale down and left. Inhale up. Exhale down. Switching sides with each windshield wiper swipe. One more time each side. Inhale up to center. Exhale down and to the right. Turn your head, look over the left shoulder. If this is a good stretch for you, take that ankle of the right foot, put it over the left knee. Let gravity do some of the work here. Remember to relax the shoulders. Take a couple more breaths here. Inhale, keep that ankle on your knee, bring the knee up, take a nice deep breath in, reach down, grab behind the thigh, and squeeze knee to chest. Maybe you rock back and forth here, but you're squeezing just enough to where you feel the, you feel the stretch, but it doesn't hurt, right? Good, rotate the left ankle, close here, rotate the shoulders down. Take a couple more breaths here. You can have your head down on the ground as long as you're not looking behind you. Try to keep that neck neutral. And then go ahead and exhale, put that left foot down, uncross the ankle, put that right foot down. And take the arms up again, rise them up over the head, interlace the fingers, push them up toward the ceiling, and then reach overhead. Maybe push through the palm of each hand a couple of times, but remember to keep your shoulder blades down and away from the ears. Exhale, release the fingers. Bring the arms back to cactus arms on the side, or goal post arms. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, dip the knees down and to the left. Again, if this feels good to you, you you want to turn and look over the right shoulder and take the left ankle over the right knee. Let gravity do some of the work. Take a couple breaths. Nice and slow. One more nice deep breath. Exhale slow. And then on your next inhale, bring the knee up. Keep that ankle on the knee. Reach down behind the thigh and squeeze knee to chest. Take your part here. And then go ahead and rotate the ankle a couple of times each direction on that right foot. And with the breath. See if you could squeeze just a little bit more 
with each exhale. And if you rock back and forth a little bit, you might feel the stretch different. And then exhale, bring that leg down, uncross the foot. And take a couple of nice slow breaths. Inhale, lift the knees, reach down, grab the knees, squeeze knees to chest again. This time we're going to do a couple of slow double knee circles to the right. And a couple slow double knee circles to the left. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze, bring the, bringing the knees wide and toward your armpits. Wiggle the knees a little bit, wiggling the hips. And then bring the knees back together and lower them to the floor. Good. Now, if you have your block handy, go ahead and grab your block. We're going to use our block. If I could grab my block, that'd be great. Um, taking that blood, placing it between the thighs, making sure the feet are nice and grounded underneath the hips, starting with our hands down next to our sides. And on the inhale, we're going to engage the core, squeeze the block, and lift up, sweeping the arms up overhead, engaging the core, lifting with the hips, exhale, lower. Inhale, rise up, lift up. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale, lift. Last one, inhale, lift. And on the exhale, keep that bridge up. Engage the core, squeeze the block, lower just the arms. Nice, strong bridge here. Good. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Taking that block from between your thighs. Go ahead and lift back up just a little bit into that bridge. Place that block under the sacrum. Go ahead and lay your lower back down onto the block. Good. Taking the feet, walking them together, and then clamshell opens up, bottoms of the feet come together. Relax the arms. Take a couple breaths here. On your next inhale, bring the right arm up in front of you. Bring the left arm underneath the right arm, and then let's stretch the shoulder a little bit while we're here. Nice groin stretch going on on the bottom half. Let's do a shoulder stretch on the top. Take a couple breaths. Bring both hands out, and then exhale, grab the left shoulder with the right hand and bring it across the body. Nice, gentle stretch here. So release both hands back up and then lower the hands back down. On your next inhale, zipper the legs together and then walk them out so the knees collapse together. And take a couple breaths here. Good. 
the opposite stretch to what we just did. Stretch it the other side. Take a couple breaths. And on your next inhale breath, bring the knees up and walk the feet back to shoulder width apart. Okay, with the hands pushing down into the floor next to your hips here. Go ahead and bend the right knee and then push the right foot up to the ceiling. Okay, now we're still on that block, but on the inhale, we're gonna engage our core and lift. And on the exhale, we're gonna come down. You don't have to come very far up off that block. You know, whatever your body is comfortable with is fine. So on the inhale, push into the floor and lift. Exhale down. So this is strengthening this right leg and stretching, or stretching the right leg, strengthening the left because we're pushing into the left foot as we lift and then coming back down. Meanwhile, keeping the right leg engaged, foot facing all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, take a nice deep breath in and lift. Hold that leg up, two, three, four, and five, and go ahead and lower. Bend the right knee, reach down, grab that knee, and squeeze that knee to the chest. Lower that foot to the ground. Now we're gonna switch sides here. So go ahead and bend the left knee, and push that one all the way up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're waking up the stretching on the back side of the leg. Pushing into the floor, pushing into the right foot on the inhale. Go ahead and push it up and lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. A couple more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And last one, push into the floor, lift, hold, two, three, four, and five, and go ahead and lower, bend the left knee, reach down, grab that knee, squeeze knee to chest, lowering the left foot, engage the cord slightly, lift off that block, go ahead and lower all the way down, take a nice deep breath and grab both knees, squeeze knees to chest. Move the knees in and out with the breath. Inhale out. Exhale in. A couple of times. Inhale out. Exhale in. One more time. Nice deep breath. Exhale in. And then we're going to take our hands, slide them behind our thighs, and rock lengthwise on our back a couple of times. And then come up with that momentum to see it. Now I'm going to turn and face you. You can stay where you're at. But when you get here, bring yourself to a nice comfortable seat and take a couple of breaths. I'm going to try to fix my hair while the hair tie is coming out. Forgive me if I got yoga hair. I know you do too. <sighs> Nice deep breath and sweep the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart. Rest. Inhale, push the hands up. Exhale, float the fingers down, put them right behind the hips, and take a nice deep breath in. Roll the shoulders back, lean back, chin up, chest out. Exhale back to the center. Take a nice deep breath in. Rise up. Exhale, lower the left hand. Bring the right arm over. Stretch the side. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, bend and stay.
Inhale, come up. Lower the right hand to the floor. Sweep up with the left. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend and stay. Stretch. Reach with that arm. And exhale, come up. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk the fingers back. Nice deep breath in. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. At this time, we're going to get ready for boat pose. More core engagement, more leg strength. Um, it's got a lot to do with just really focusing on squeezing the muscles into the center of your body to really hold that pose. So I'm going to turn sideways here. Remembering what leg you have in front. Um, you know, what ankle you have crossed in front. Go ahead and bring the knees up. Rock back a little bit, finding your sit bones. Maybe move those fleshy parts out of the way. Slide your hands up your thighs and then bring your legs up. Engage the core, roll the shoulders back. Take a couple breaths here. And then if you feel like you can let go of the thighs and reach for it, really let go and reach for it. Nice flat back. Rotate the ankles. Have a little fun with it. Take a nice deep breath in. Grab the thighs, lower the feet, bring the knees wide and forward fold. Kind of almost a cobbler's pose because your feet are just facing each other. Inhale, come up, zipper the knees back together. Find that balance point again. This is going to be our second and last boat pose. Slide the hands behind the knees, rock back. Find that balance. Roll the shoulders back, find the strength, engage the core, and reach for it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower the feet. And forward fold. Coming back up, go ahead and let's cross our ankles the other way. So I have my right foot in tighter the first time. I'm going to bring my left foot in this time, okay, or my left foot in front. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, hands to heart, inhale, push up, exhale, hands to heart. Take a couple nice restful breaths here. Sit up nice and straight, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Let's go ahead and drop the ear down to the left shoulder. We're not creeping our shoulder up to meet the ear, keeping the shoulder down and we're just leaning our neck over. Take a couple nice stretches here, not pushing so hard that it hurts. Maybe you bend your chin a little bit to find the good spot for you. Inhale back up to neutral. Exhale, drop the ear down and to the right. Take a couple breaths. Wiggle the chin, find your spot. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale slow. And then on the next inhale, bring the head back up to neutral. Nice deep breath in again. Exhale, dip the chin to the chest. Take a couple breaths here. Open up the back side of the neck. Very gently. Inhale, carve the nose up. Look up at the ceiling slightly. We're not trying to look behind us. Just about six feet in front of us on the ceiling. If you can imagine that. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale back to neutral. Good. Nice inhale, deep breath. And on the exhale, we're going to bring our hands down to the side because we're going to transition from here to tabletop. 
sweep the knees back and behind you and underneath. I always encourage the extra padding with the blanket under your knees, so I'm going to go ahead and fold my blanket so it's ready for my knees and then come back to tabletop. Once you get in tabletop, let's take a few rounds of cat-cow pose. So starting with the tailbone, rock the tailbone under, drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, chin up, chest out. Exhale, squeeze it in, roll it through, push into the shoulders, into the floor. Inhale, your shoulder blades come together, chin up, chest out. And as you exhale, your shoulder blades come apart into the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. With your breath. Last one. We're going to hold the poses for just a second. Nice deep breath in. Chin up, chest out. And exhale slow, hold that cat back, hold that pose, push into the ceiling, and then bring your big toes together behind you. Bring your knees nice and wide, and then push back into an extended child's pose. Walk the hands forward if that feels good to you. Drop the head between the arms, relax the shoulders. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, come up to tabletop, bring the knees together, curl the toes under behind you, and then rock forward slightly, bringing the knees up, push back child's pose. Take those feet for a walk couple of times and then bend that right knee bring that foot straight up to the ceiling and a little bit over to the left exhale bring the knee all the way in and then bring it back to meet the other push back into down dog again walk the feet a couple of times then bend the left knee push it all the way up and slightly over toward the right opening up that left side body and then exhale, bring it all the way in, and bring that foot back down. Now you're in plank. Lower the knees, lower the feet. Inhale, come up. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, push the hands up. Exhale, lower them down. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands hard. Now up to kneeling. Let's start with our right side. Bring that right foot forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, push forward on that hip. Make sure the hips are nice and level. Okay, so we're not turning one way or the other. Nice, stable hips here. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, push forward again. Stretching through this muscle. And then curl the back toes under. Bring the fingertips to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, push into the back foot, bringing your knee up off the floor. Now bringing your right hand inside your left foot, you could use a block here also Oop. for support. I'm going to take my right arm, take a nice deep breath in, and reach it up toward the sky. Turn your head and look up toward that hand. Exhale, bring it down. Now bringing the block to the other side, take a nice deep breath in, open up. So your back foot turns a little bit on this one. And then exhale, bring it down. 
you can use the blacker you don't have to but from here we're just gonna straighten the front leg walk back so the back heel lowers the front leg comes straight and then the toes come up off the ground take a couple breaths here and then walk that foot back down walk the fingertips back up and lower the back knee we're going to transition and do the other side so we're going to bring that knee back inhale come up exhale hands to heart inhale reach up exhale sweep the hands down and pivot toward the floor thunderbolt inhale sweep the arms up exhale hands to heart relax adjust yourself if needed and then take that left leg forward take a nice deep breath in make sure your hips are nice and stable and as you exhale push forward inhale come up exhale push inhale up and exhale forward a couple more good now we're going to go ahead and lower our fingertips to the floor curl the back toes under push up on the back foot bringing the knee up and then taking your block we're going to start with inside the foot take our left arm inside the foot sweep our right arm up inside the body opening up back foot pivot slightly reach up reach up and then exhale bring that back down move the block to the other side Grounding now through oops, the left, left, yeah, left leg. Sweep up with the right, all the way up. Reach for it, reach toward the ceiling. Oop. I need to widen my stance a little bit for balance. And then exhale, bring it back down. You can use the block or you don't have to use the block. You start with that bent knee. Go ahead and straighten that front knee, drop the back toes down, and then bring the toes up on that front leg. I just step my back foot up a little bit to get this left leg because this one's really tight for some reason. So bringing those toes up, and then rock back forward into that lunge lower the knee and then bring that other leg down there it goes grounding through into tabletop again let's do a couple rounds of cat cow inhale and exhale nice deep breath in and exhale inhale deep breath and exhale to neutral good now take both feet curl them under rock forward slightly bend the knees push up and back into tough um down dog not tough walk the feet a couple of times and then walk those feet up to the front of the mat inhale arms up sweep up and exhale forward fold inhale half lift and exhale fold inhale arms up sweep up and exhale hands to heart i'm going to face toward you here for a minute and if you need to grab a drink of water go ahead and grab a drink of water stay hydrated it's the first day of spring things are going to heat up make sure that you stay hydrated Whew. i'm going to turn my heat down all right so inhale, take a nice deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, fold. Bend your knees a little bit so that your torso and your upper body kind of lay on the knees. Let the hands come forward. Let the head hang. Let the shoulders hang. Maybe give them a little wiggle, a little stretch here. And then take a nice deep breath and sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a couple more breaths. Inhale, deep breath. And as you exhale, step back with the right foot, turning it to a 45 and then opening up to that warrior two. Front knee bent, back leg is nice and strong. I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit here, make it stronger, roll the shoulders back, look over that front hand, take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, bring the right hand behind your back, sweep up with the left. Look at the fingers and smile. Inhale, bring it back out. And on the exhale, drop the front elbow to the knee. Sweep up with the back arm. Reach for it. It's like you're reaching over this way to grab something. And then inhale, bring it back up. And then straighten that front leg. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bend. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, bend. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, bend. Inhale, come up. And then take that right leg and bring it up to the front of the mat. Inhale, arms up, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, fold again. Now we're going to do the other side. Inhale, arms up, sweep up, keeping your hands wide. Let's do a quick chair. We push back with our hips, reach up with the hands. And then nice deep breath in, sweep the hands up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And last but not least, inhale, arms up. And let's take that right arm or right sorry left leg step back nice 45 arms out nice strong warrior two nice deep breath in exhale another nice deep breath in and on the exhale bring that left arm behind the back sweep up with the right exhale bring them back out and then drop the front knee to the elbow sweep up Grab your fruit off the tree over here. Take a nice deep breath in. Back to neutral. And then begin moving with the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and stay. Hold. Nice strong warriors. And then you take that back leg. Sweep it up to the front of the mat. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, arms up, lift up. Exhale, hands to heart. Now we're going to do couple things with our balance. Okay, so we'll start with our hands at our heart and go ahead and bend the right knee. Find your stability. Bring the knee up and then take that right ankle and put it on the left knee. Bring the knee out to the side and then we're going to push up with our hands, reach up, and then push back with our hips. So it's like we're sitting in a chair. Reach up toward the ceiling, push back with the hips. Nice inhale, deep breath. Raise it up, lower the ankle, and forward fold. 
I gonna do the next one from the side so you can see it from a different angle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend the left knee. Take a couple breaths. Bring the knee up. Rest the ankle on the knee, bringing the knee out to the side. Reaching up with the hands for stability. And then sit back like you're sitting in a chair. You can use a wall for support here if you need to, or a chair for something. Reach up, sit back. Nice, strong figure four chair. Inhale, sweep it up, drop the foot. Exhale, forward fold. Now when you get to this forward fold here, go ahead and grab your block. Put it in front of the right foot and place your right hand on that block, okay? You could use the seat of a chair here or even the back of a chair because we're gonna bend our right knee, push the right knee back so we make a T with our, our body, okay? And then when you feel stable, go ahead and sweep the left arm up and then sweep the right arm up. Hold that, hold that pose for just a minute and then see if you could Pivot, come up to standing on one foot and then bring it down. Good, now we're gonna do the other side. Bending down into a forward fold, move the block over to the left hand side. Place the left hand on the block, bend the knees. Bending the right knee, sweeping up with the right hand, back with the right leg. Whoop. Holding onto the wall if I need to. And then when or if you feel stable enough, go ahead and bring the other arm up, reach out, and then inhale, bring the knee in, back to standing. Nice deep breath in, exhale, forward fold. I have to challenge myself here too, you guys. Inhale up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a couple deep breaths here. Nice, slow, deep breath. We're gonna begin working our way back down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Bend, bend, bend the knees. Inhale, half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bringing your fingertips to your toes. And then grounding through the fingertips, see if you could step back into plank or kneeling plank, whichever is better for you. Nice, strong plank engages the core. Hold that plank as long as you can. And then bring the knees down. Bring the toes together. Knees wide, push back child's pose. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale, come back up to kneeling. We're gonna do some spinal balance before we go down to our bellies. So grounding through the right knee and left hand, take a nice deep breath in, sweep up with the right hand, left leg, and then exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, sweep it out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Couple more. Last one, really stretch it out and hold for just a second. Crunch it in, knee to elbow. Nice cat back and then bring it down. Grounding through the other side, shifting your weight. Take a nice deep breath in and reach for it. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, sweep it out. Exhale, knee to elbow. A couple more.
Last one. Reach it out and hold. Exhale. Bring it in. Knee double. And then bring it down. From here, go ahead and curl your toes under behind you. Push up and back into a quick down dog. Rock forward into plank. And then with control, see if you can lower all the way down to the mat. Chin to chest. And then roll onto your belly. Slide your hands up here. Take a couple breaths. Slow the breath down. Turn your head, look the other way. Turn your head to neutral. Bring your hands out in front of you. Thumbs facing up. Feet, nice wide V behind you so that your big toes are on either side of the mat. Your arms are just slightly over shoulder width apart. Thumbs facing up. Go ahead and make a fist with a big thumbs up. Relax the head down for a minute. Um, and then bring it back to neutral. And on the inhale, we're going to lift our right thumb, left leg, and then our left thumb, right leg. So on the inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift the other side, and exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. One more time each side, and we're going to lift and hold. Two, three, four, five, and down. Inhale, lift, hold. Two, three, four, five, and down. Slide the hands back next to your sides. Take a nice inhale, chin up, baby cobra. And exhale, come down. Wiggle the hips. Take a couple restful breaths here. And then from here, we're going to roll onto our backs. So, go ahead and roll over onto your back. Start with your knees bent. Take a couple breaths. If you feel like your shoulders are together up here, go ahead and rock them behind you. Walk the shoulders back. Relax the arms. And then lower both legs long on the mat. We're going to do a full body stretch here. So pointing the toes, sweep that stretch all the way through the body, through the crown of the head, keeping the shoulders down as you reach the body long. Long on the mat as you can. Nice deep breath in. Exhale slow. Deep breath in and stretch a little further. Exhale slow. Good. Now walking both hands and feet to the right sides of the mat, grab the left wrist and gently stretch in that banana shape. So I got a hold of the left wrist here under the wrist and I'm just gently holding it there. I can hold it with a couple of fingers. Take a couple of breaths here. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, relax, back to neutral. Bring the arms down. Take another breath. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk the feet over to the left. Sweep the right arm up. Grab the right arm with the left wrist. Stretch 
motion to the banana shape on the other side. A couple of breaths here. Inhale, come back to neutral. Lower the arms, the hands on the belly. Walk the feet up. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, relax. Walk the shoulders down and away from the ears. Turn your head and look over the right shoulder. Take a couple of breaths. Inhale, great. Come back to neutral. Exhale, turn and look over the left shoulder. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, bring the head back to neutral. Reach down, grab the knees, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze, knees to chest. Maybe rock back and forth a little bit here and get a nice and deep squeeze out of it. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze and hold. And then lower your feet back down to the mat. Good. Now we're going to do our hip stretches. So go ahead and grab your strap. Okay. We're going to do our hip stretches. So right foot up first. You can have your left knee bent or straight. I'm going to straighten right out for a little bit of a deeper stretch here. Finding a good spot in your strap. My strap's really long. I'm 5'9". I think this is an 8 foot strap. So push through the heel. Bring the leg along, take a nice deep breath in, roll the shoulders underneath you, let's hit the ankle, stretch that leg a little bit more, and then with control, take the strap into the right hand, slowly open up the gate, bring the left arm along on the mat, take a couple breaths here. Inhale, bring the leg back up. Switch hands with the strap and then bring that leg across the body. Lower the right arm to the mat. Stretching the outside of the hip here. Maybe you feel a stretch different if you point your toes or turn your ankle a little bit differently. Play with the poses, have fun with them. Find what works for your body, but keep your joints in alignment. Inhale, come up. Grabbing the strap with both hands, bring the left foot up. Ah! Ooh, excuse me. And then bring the right leg down on the mat. Pushing through the heel of that left leg, play with it a little bit, find a good stretch for you. Take a few nice deep breaths, full breaths. Bringing both straps into the left hand. Go ahead and open up the gate. Let that left leg go open as far as what feels comfortable for you. Take a few.
few breaths here. I'm gonna shimmy toward the camera a little bit because I wanna make sure my stretch is even too. All right, you can still see me here. You just can't see my legs, but that's the sign. Nice, open here. Take a nice deep breath in, bring that leg up, and then bring it across the body, lowering the left hand on the ground. Push through the heel and find what angle works really good for you, keeping both sides of the hips and the shoulders on the ground. Take a few stretches. Inhale, bring that leg up, removes the strap. Take a nice deep breath in. Bring the knees up and squeeze on the exhale. Inhale and exhale. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze. And then go ahead and from here we're going to transition into our restorative. So whatever that looks like for you is fine. A couple of things I suggest or recommend is you use some support for the neck. So I'm just going to take this blanket and roll it so that my neck is supported by the rope here. And then I'm going to roll it under this way so that it supports my head and my head doesn't go flopping about. Okay. And then another thing I like to do is take my bolster and bring the bolster under the knees and let the legs hang over the bolster. Okay, this bolster is a smaller bolster. I have bigger ones. We use pillows. It's up to you. And as we lay here in our restorative and breathe, Take a few minutes to think about all the good things that are happening in the world today. Breathe in the good, exhale the bad. about all the good and wonderful things. Amongst the chaos, use your stories, use your kindness. We see the people of Italy singing from the rooftops and balconies. Globally, the pollution has gone down. You can stay here as long as you like, or as long as you need. Give yourself some grace and permission to take care of yourself during such a stressful time when it feels like there's so much to do but nothing to do. And when you're ready to go ahead and finish your practice, you can come back up to sit. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart.
Namaste.